This next section we're going to talk about pending orders. So a lot of the time a customer for convenience will like to place the order ahead of time. So they place an order today to be made three days from now. With that there's a couple of things. So there's a prep time as you already know. Um, there's a prep time. So prep time is going to be somewhere we usually do default for online orders around 25 minutes but we tell all of our staff members two hours. So that way if it's a bigger order it doesn't catch us off guard. We have enough time to stretch the dough, make everything and have it ready off to the side so that we can throw it in right before the time is necessary. So with that this next section is just going to show you how to divulge all of that information from the actual system. So as well nobody else in this restaurant is gonna have that information have access to that information other than gem 5 so it is your job your responsibility to make sure every 30 minutes you check pending orders and you see the prep time you see when the order is supposed to be there you know all of that information you know how large the order is so we make sure we get that to the kitchen so they have enough time to make the food and make the food within the time constraint as we stated before in this section, I'm just going to show you how to check the pending order screen and all of that information. So you have your code, you hit go, like I said, it'll take you to the last screen. So you should go back here, and then there's a little section right here called pending orders. So that's the section you need to check. It'll show all of the future checks as well. It'll show some checks that have yet to be approved. Um, I'll show you how to navigate that screen in just a second. So like I said, you click pending orders and I'll have two sections right up here needs approval and future checks so needs approval right here are orders that for some reason have not been approved by toast so what you need to do is you need to get a hold of a manager or a lead show them that there is a check in the needs approval section so that they can see if they need to approve it or not um, and they will solve that and they will solve that problem for you but the other section is the one that we're talking about future checks right here you need to go over you can see right here that we have three future checks right now for three orders um, you can see right here that this is for November 26 at noon it's gonna fire in 21 minutes today is November 26 um, it's gonna fire in 21 minutes but you can see it's a large order it's 1030 right now right up here um, but we want to give the kitchen as much prep time as we possibly can to make this since it is looks about 10 pizzas so that's a large order the kitchen needs a lot of time to make that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see this right here you can see down here there's a button that says fire now so what that's gonna do is that's gonna shoot that ticket to the back instead of waiting an extra 20 minutes it's gonna shoot it to the back so they have extra time to make it so what you do is you hit fire now and then you go and tell the kitchen hey I just sent a ticket back to the back it's due at noon and it is going to be for 10 pizzas I just wanted to give you guys some extra time so that you guys can make the order within the time constraint and and have the order correctly to that customer so this is the order that I was talking about would you show it in the display kitchen and the display kitchen? So you can see right here as well, it's gonna be right here under the 12 o'clock section. So as soon as it's fired back to the kitchen, it's gonna go under the ticket display screen and you can see all of the information right there. And you can see once again, right up here, it's due at noon. So the last thing with this section, like I said, make absolutely sure every 30 minutes you are checking that screen because we don't know what orders are going in the system. We don't know anything about any of the orders that's no one has future sight so we can't we can't tell so you need to check every 30 minutes you need to check the needs approval screen you need to check the future check screen just to make sure we're not gonna miss any orders and that the restaurant is on top of everything as a team so with that as well like we said gem 5 is the only one with access to that information they're the only one who's actively checking that so it is in your job responsibility to check all of that but as well a big 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 thing is make sure you follow through you follow up you check and make sure that all of these orders especially the ones that have been scheduled are going out on time and you are checking and you're following through you are going back to the kitchen again to make sure hey I know I've told you six times already but I'm gonna tell you a seventh time just to make sure this order needs to go out at noon so it needs to go in at 
eleven fifty five or something if it's a carry if it's a carry out or phone order it needs to go in about five, six minutes beforehand. Just let the kitchen know, hey, I'm reminding you again, make sure the food goes out because they're focused on about six thousand other things trying to make sure all of the food goes out. They have a lot of stress, they have a lot of high tension back there. They're trying to get all the food out. They just need a gentle hand to remind them, hey, by the way, just a reminder, order coming out at noon, six pizzas, all of that information.